Hey, what's up, guys? TJ here with another video for you. And as you can see, I'm back with another WWE 2K16 My Career Mode video. Hope you guys are enjoying these recent episodes. If you haven't seen them before, go and check them out. And yeah, they're actually really cool to watch. We've entered WrestleMania week. WrestleMania week, you know? Hell in a Cell week. And um, hopefully, this is going to be crazy. As you guys know, he is the champion, Anderson. After two years, claims that title. But Triple H is doing his very, very best to stop him from getting it. But the only thing is, Triple H is in absolute... He's pissed off, basically, because he he doesn't want Anderson the champion. And we all know he does not want Daniel Bryan as champion. And that's... He doesn't, he would rather have Anderson as a champion over Daniel Bryan. But at Hell in a Cell, he will have to face Anderson in a Hell in a Cell match. It's crazy. He has no control over it. The match is set. It's final. No last minute changes. Triple H. God knows what he has to do. He tried to put the beast. If you haven't seen the last episode, he tried to put the beast in front of Anderson. Tried to end his his career, or at least get him in enough pain to lose that match, or not even compete in it, and just have to relinquish his title. Nothing worked. Anderson owned. Spoiler alert. Anderson owned Brock Lesnar in the match, and um, who who won? If you haven't seen it, go back and check, but we're going to jump right into this match, guys. <laughs> Just whistling really to a song. But uh, Daniel Bryan comes straight at Anderson. He's not taking the mick this game. He wants to win this match. He wants to prove that he can beat Anderson. He is an A plus player but Anderson straight away he is not happy with the attitude of Daniel Bryan he thought there was mutual respect going on between these two but nope not at all Daniel Bryan wants that championship and he will give up friendship if he has to but Anderson he will not have it look at this oh reverses it and just brings him over the back and a punch now Anderson in trouble on the bottom rope Daniel Bryan looking for here. Knee to the chest of Anderson with the, the right arm. Just going to roll out the ring now. Daniel Bryan was talking absolute crap to him. And now Anderson is waiting for Daniel Bryan to make his move. Not a smart move at all from Bryan. We know Anderson prefers to be on the outside of this ring and just smashes his face in that pole. Here we go. And again, his nose went first into that. That's painful. Now Anderson is going to do the smart thing. Get back in the ring. Regain your stamina, but Daniel Bryan, oh, turned around for a bit. I don't know, he's looking at the commentators. <laughs> Overheard them talking crap about him. And now Anderson doing what he did to Brock Lesnar. Suplexes, punches, everything you can do to wear down this opponent. Oh, was for the punch and reversed by Daniel Bryan, but here we go again in a headlock. Again against the ropes. This time not working in Daniel Bryan's favour. Anderson. Well, at least trying to punch him off. There we go. Answer good. Top rope back. Raw. Monday Night Raw. And jumps out the ring and just about hits Daniel Bryan. And he is fired up. Of course, part of the Samoan family. And uh, it's showing right here. And now, oh, hit on the back. And the referee's still counting. Look at this suplex. Oh, mate. I think that's a suplex. I, I, I honestly don't know. But Daniel Bryan. Oh, right. Into the ring. Now Anderson elbowing. Daniel Bryan. And a sharp punch to the back of Daniel Bryan. Again, they both get back in the ring. Anderson, this time, going to wait. Here we go. And another body drop on the back of Daniel Bryan. Now just picking him up slowly, taking his time. Throws him into the corner. Here we go. Kick to the gut. And repeat kicks to Anderson. The kicks. Now just slowly pick it up. Daniel Bryan, here we go. Suplex from Anderson. And now picking them up. Oh! What? I was waiting to regain my my stamina. 
How is he already just awake? But anyway, Daniel Bryan with the guest kicks at the final one around the face of Anderson. And now that is surely it. One and a kick out one from Anderson. Like I said, Daniel Bryan trying to prove the point that he can reclaim the WWE Championship. But when you have, when you go up against Ola Anderson, he also has the mindset of I will retain the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. And now here we go, Anderson finally getting Daniel Bryan on the shoulders. By the way, guys, I have two signatures as you saw in the last one, and then I have that uh, Rikishi driver. But Daniel Bryan goes down. And I need to give a name for that signature as well, so yeah. Now just picking up Daniel Bryan. Again into the corner of the ring. This time, this time. Shoulder first into that turnbuckle. Here we go. Anderson. And a little bit of a power bomb there, you could say. Anderson. Oh, Daniel Bryan kicks him off. Daniel Bryan picking him up. Is he looking for it? He is dazed. He doesn't go for it. I thought he was going for the, the yes lock, but oh, he's looking for knee plus. Daniel Bryan is looking to end this match. And Anderson gets out the way of it. A punch reversed. Daniel Bryan. Into the corner goes Daniel Bryan. And a sharp close up from Anderson. And Bryan just drops on the floor. But Daniel Bryan has that comeback. Oh god. But Anderson has none of it. Puts him back where he belongs. On the floor. On the match, I'd say it's not really a floor. Oh, out for the kick. <laughs> and now, straight into the corner goes Anderson. <laughs> Daniel Bryan's already trying to do that comeback. Is it gone? It went away. How unlucky. Because he has no stamina. But he's still going to use. Anderson being dazed in the corner to his advantage and this is it too fast that was not too fast <laughs> but uh, uh, Daniel Bryan climbing up will he hit it? a falcon arrow from the top rope what a move and that is it landed straight on his neck two and a kick out from Anderson just about at two he was thinking while the referee was coming, he was thinking, shall I kick out? Is it best for my body? I've just landed straight on my neck, but who cares? Right now, it's a pop up power bomb to Daniel Bryan, and this is it. One, two, and a kick out from Daniel Bryan. Anderson, in previous matches, he's, he's come to realize that Daniel Bryan is probably the most resilient superstar he's ever faced so far, but. If Anderson hits this, we've seen it before the spear. If Anderson hits this, this is over. You see that again? Look at that. Daniel Bryan was not ready for that. It just hit him out of nowhere. But now, one, two. Daniel Bryan somehow manages. To get that shoulder up, he didn't even have resiliency. What the hell's going on there? And I was just picking him up with frustration, but Daniel Bryan reverses it and now goes to pick up Anderson, but Anderson reverses it into a suplex. Suplex City. And now just clotheslining him carelessly. Try to knock his head off his neck, but again, those punches to the face. Four star match. Move right, you gone down. Alright, Mike, relax. And now Anderson again, not again, this time looking for a power bomb. This time gets the power bomb. And I wanted to go into a pin, but it's okay. <laughs> Picking up Daniel Bryan now. And again, gonna hit that. Ricky C driver. <laughs> and straight away Anderson goes into the pin. Not wasting any time. One, two, and... Daniel Bryan again the resiliency of this kid Jesus Christ mate just just let it go mate you've lost and another one of those little suplexes I think they're called suplexes but yeah I don't know those ones are suplexes I, I can't remember anyway Anderson again looking for the second spill will he hit it this time 
He does hit it. But Daniel Bryan is right next to those ropes. All it is is a little bit of movement. But Anderson, he doesn't care. I don't think Anderson realizes how close Daniel Bryan is. It doesn't matter. Anderson again picks up a victory twice in a row. That's how you know a superstar is not messing around. If you screw twice in a row, but they keep on going. Roman Reigns is a perfect example. May I just add it? You know what I'm saying? But look at this. He landed right on that neck. Oh, you see that right there. And he looked out of it. But somehow, he managed to get that shoulder up, kicking Dan O'Brien off him. And look at the look at the look of Dan O'Brien's face. He just how am I to beat Anderson? And you see that kick and just throws him against the ropes. Why is it going slow? Is it going slow for you guys? Just slams him back down to his neck. And you see the one. Why is it going slow? Two. And then the kick out from Daniel Bryan. But this is what did it. This took everything away from Daniel Bryan. You see the wind just flying out of his throat. Out of his body. Everywhere. It came out of his ears, mate. <laughs> I'm true, I'm true. But. One. Two. Three. <sighs> Heading into SmackDown and then Hell in a Cell. Anderson looks ready to take on anything. Guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like and again, subscribe and comment more, guys. And um, yeah, Triple H and Stephanie McMahon told Anderson, reverse Danny Bryan's finisher. We don't want you or him <laughs> as the champion. So reverse this finisher and we rather you like i said earlier they would rather answer be the champion so they said make sure you don't get hit by that knee plus and he avoided it i'll see you in the next one guys which will be smackdown tomorrow